in the last lecture we have seen the how to find out the rl of different points by using height of instrument meter and drive and fall meter in that lecture i have explained in detail now we will see some uh, different uh, varieties of uh, numericals here uh, there is a, uh, this is one numerical here uh, the following successive readings were taken with a dumpy level along a chain line at a comma interval of 20 meter the first reading was taken on the chain edge of 140 meter okay here it is written that first reading was taken in the chain edge of 140 meter okay the rl of second change point was 107 point rl of second change point is 107.215 okay what did we, here it is given the rl of second second change point c okay there is a small difference in the last uh, pro, uh, numerical the rl of the first point that is benchmark was given here the rl of second change point is given that is 107.215 meter then the instrument was shifted after the another important thing after which reading the instrument was shifted after third and seventh reading okay after third and seventh reading instrument was shifted and here it uh, and uh, then we have to calculate the rl of all the points okay and here readings are given so first we will mark after which uh, reading instrument is shifted that is first second and third this is the third then 4th, 5th, 6th, then 7th. Okay. After these points, instrument is shifted. Okay. And here, one more thing, additional thing is given as the reading is uh, taken at the change of 140 meter. First reading is taken at the change of 140 meter. And, and readings are taken at the common interval of 20 meter. So, here, uh, we have to give, here uh, the station points means just it's a uh, serial number. This is station uh, first point, second point, third point. We can write it uh, down like that. And change is is starting from, that is first reading is taken at the change of 140 meter. So our first change is 140 meter. Okay. Then with the increment of 20 meter means, the second uh, station point is 160 meter. Third point is... 180 meter that we have to keep, keep, keep on adding 20 centimeter to get the next point change. Then is the station point 4, this change is 200 meter. Then station point 5, change is 220 meter. Station point 6, change is 240 meter. That we have to keep it on adding the change. And 7th point change is 260 meter. Okay. Now, let us uh, write the reading. So, first reading we always write in the back side. That is, first reading we are going to write in this 3.150. Then, second reading in the intermediate side reading 2.245. Okay, then it is a change point that is instrument is shifted after third point. So, this we have to write third point reading in the Post editing, so here we are going to write in the third uh, 1.125 in the first side. Okay, then next reading we have to write it in the back side. First reading after the first side, we have to again it write in the back side column, but it is back side uh, column, but in the same row. Okay, but in the same row. So here next reading we have to write in the in the same row 3.860 over the is over the back side reading. Okay. Then again intermediate side reading 2.125. Then 0 0.7 6 0. Then again there is a change point. So we have to write this reading in the four side reading. So our seventh reading, our instrument is shifted after seventh uh, reading. So this will come in the again in the four side. So this reading that is two point two three five two three five. 
comes in the fourth side. Okay. Then after this reading, whatever the next reading is again come in the same row in the in the back side row column. So here next reading is zero point four seven zero. Then again next reading we can write in the one point nine three five. Okay. Then again three point two two five. And this is the last reading, zero point sorry three point eight nine zero. So it will come in the fourth side again because it is the last reading, three point eight nine zero. Okay. So here is point number eight and this point number nine. And here the change will be again two eighty, and last change will be three hundred. Okay. So like that we can. We can write this backside elimination and forward reading. Now, next step is to calculate rise and fall. Okay, so I have explained in detail in the previous lecture. So, to we are what we have to do, we have to subtract the next reading from the previous reading, and whatever its values, if it is plus, we are going to write in the rise, and if it is minus, we are going to write in the fall. Okay, and here. One important thing is given that we it is given that the RL of the second change point is there. What is second change point? In remark we can write is the CP two. This is change point two, and this is the this is our change point one. This is our change point one. This is change point two, and what is given? RL of second change point means we it is given that RL of This point and what is this uh, that RL? It is one zero seven one zero seven point two one five one zero seven point two one five is the RL given of the second change point. Okay, so let us find the all rise and fall first. How to calculate with that? We will compare next reading with the previous reading. If next reading is less than the previous reading, then there is a rise. Okay. And what? How do we calculate it by subtracting, subtracting forward reading from the previous reading? So here we will subtract 2.245 from 3.150. Okay. We will subtract 3.3.150 uh, minus 2.225. Then we will get the plus 9.9050. We have written it in the rise. Then next. We have subtracted 1.125 from 2.25. We got the rise 1.120. Okay. Then next again. Now this part we will uh, lift it here, and again we will start from the again from the back side. We will compare this previous reading with the next reading. Okay. Again it is reducing means there is a rise. We are subtracting that uh, 2.215 uh, from 3.860, and we will get this 1.75. Again, next, then we will subtract this 0.760 from 2.215. We will get again rise that is 1.135. Now you can see that forward reading is increasing, means increasing means stop is going down means there is a fall. So here we will do 0.760. Means we what we are going to do? We are going to subtract the next reading from the previous reading. Again, we will subtract it uh, 2.235 from 0.760 that is 0.760 minus. Minus 2.235 will get minus 1.147. Uh, so we got here minus. So we are going to write this reading in the fall. Okay. Then next. Now after fourth set, we leave it here. Again, we compare this previous reading. This is uh, back set. Previous reading with the next reading. Again here, uh, reading is increasing. Means there is a fall. Okay. So 0.470 minus 1.1950. We are getting 1.465 uh, minus 1 that we have written here in the fall. Again, 1.935 minus this 3.255. Uh, what we got? 1.290 minus minus 1 that we have written here in the uh, fall. Again, then we what we will do? We will uh, subtract this 
reading from this reading here reading is increasing in second there is a fault 3.225 minus 3.890 we, we, we are getting minus 0.665 so we have written the fault like that we are calculate or rise and or fault now once we calculate rise and fault so our next duty is to calculate this rf okay so here to know the area of the next point to calculate the area of the next point we should know the area of the previous point okay so here can we calculate area no okay so what do we know we know the area of the second change point area of this point okay this is point number 6 okay we know the area of this point so how to calculate the area of the next point so from that this point we can calculate the area of this point That is area of this point. That is seven point is uh, how do we calculate it? One zero seven point. That is area of previous point. Then minus fall again one zero seven point two one five minus this one point six four four six five. We will get some value. Then whatever area we are getting here, then we will subtract again the fall. If there is a fall, we subtract. If there is a rise, we will add again. From the, uh, whatever area we got here of the previous point, and again we subtract this value from the that value, we will get the next area. Now we have to find out the area of these points. There are two methods by which we, you can find out the area of these points. So uh, first method is here, as we know in this rise and fall method, we find out the area of next point. Next point by adding or subtracting rise or fall from the previous value. Okay, so to get area of this point, we have used area of previous point. Okay, so we can do some reverse calculation like that. This area we have got. Okay, so how do we have got this area by by subtracting 1.4? So if there is some uh, area x of this point, previous point is x. Then by subtracting this 1.475 from the x, we got 1.725. Got it? By subtracting 1.475 from this x, we got another 1.075. So we can write it down like x minus 1.475 is equal to. 107.215. So to get the area of the previous point here, if there is a fall, what we do? We have added. Okay, so we have added 107.415 plus 1.475 to get area of previous point. Okay, and here if there is a rise, what we do? We have subtracted 1.365 from 108.69. To get the area of previous point. Okay, this is one method that by reverse or calculation we can calculate the area of the previous point. Or other way is we have one thing we have the chain. That what is our chain? That summation of back side minus summation of fore side. That is summation of back side minus summation of fore side. That should be equal to summation of rise minus summation of fall, and that should be equal to last area minus first area. So First, we calculate summation of back side minus summation of fore side. That summation of back side is equal to 7.480 minus summation of fore side is 7.250. So it is coming as a 0.230. Again, we will see summation of rise minus summation of fall. Summation of rise. Here I have already calculated summation of backside here, and here summation of fore side. If we add all these values, we get these values. Summation if we rise, if we do summation of rise, that is 0.9905 plus 1.120, like then we get summation as of 5.15. Similarly, if we sum all these falls, we get these values. So summation of uh, rise minus summation of fall, what we get? We get 5. One two five minus minus summation of fall is four point eight nine five. That's again also coming zero point two three. Okay, 
So what is our check? So the backside minus four side that should be equal to summation price minus summation point that both are coming to zero point two three zero, and that should be equal to what? That should be equal to. That should be equal to. Last RL minus first RL. Okay. So here, what is value of last RL minus first RL? It is zero point two three. We can write it down. Zero point two three zero. Last RL minus first RL. So we have last RL. What is last RL? Last RL is one zero three point seven nine five. And now we can calculate the first RL minus first RL is equal to zero point. What we are getting value? Zero point two three zero. So how do we get first RL? So here first RL we are getting by subtracting zero point two three zero from one zero three point seven nine five. That is one zero three point seven nine five is the last RL. So one zero three point seven five minus zero point two three zero we will get the value one zero three point five six five. So this. First RL we can write here one zero three point five six five. That now we got the RL of the first point, first point, and now we can get the RL of the remaining point. Once we get the RL of the first point, we can get the RL of the remaining point by just adding rights and by subtracting false. Okay, so here we can do by two ways. One way by doing back calculations as I explained here. Okay, and another way by using that. Uh, Arithmetic check: summation of backside is equal to minus summation of foreside is equal to summation of price minus summation of call is equal to last RL minus first RL. So we can calculate first the RL of the first point and then we can calculate the RL of the remaining point. Now to get the RL of the next point, what we do? We do one zero three point five six five plus this zero point nine zero five, and it comes to be now the RL of these remaining points we have calculated by just adding the rise and by subtracting the call. So we got now. The RL of the first point was zero three point five six five. Then after adding one zero three point five six five plus zero point nine zero five, we got one zero four point seven zero five. Again by adding one point one two five to this RL of previous point, we get RL of this point one zero one point. Again, uh, we can add add uh, to get RL of this point by uh, point. We can add we can we can add the rise to the RL of the previous point to get the this values. Like that, we got the RL of uh, This uh, point, okay. And after all, we can check here whatever uh, is given. One zero eight point six nine zero minus one point four seven five. We we'll get one zero seven point two one. Okay. So this is our check. Like that, we can calculate the R of the points if the we if it is given that R of a some middle point or R of some point in between is given. We can find out the R of the remaining point by this method.